Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So in our previous video, we have discussed about the scheduler, uh, start, end and the jobs, right? Uh, how to create a jobs. In order to, you know, schedule, what we need to do, we need to, you know, call this method, right? Schedule job. And this one, it needs to have few details like job details and the trigger details, right? Mm. So in this video, we are going to build these two job details and trigger details okay so uh, for job details it needs to have some sort of information and related to triggers as well right so let me show that in a pojo some pojo okay so let me call as a model package and let me uh, sorry not a class here first let me create a package called model then i can store that information right okay sorry here new package called model inside this model let me have some information about that okay let's say like uh, uh what i can say is let's say trigger info info as a class and here uh, let's say like private int uh, you know you want to store a information related to a job right so uh, like trigger count that means how many times you want to trigger that private boolean is run forever that means here it is here we are saying like how many times it needs to run let's say like five in that case it will not run forever right so it can be false if you make it this as true then the above one is we don't need to care because it is going to run forever right but in between uh let's say like it started at eight o'clock zero seconds okay then when it needs to run that means when it is running forever but it needs to have some offset right so that is private let's say like long time interval i can keep a, a variable called time interval between the jobs and at what time it needs to start let's say my you know my job is running at eight o'clock so my project is running at eight o'clock but i want my scheduler or my job to run at eight two okay so that is something that private long initial let me take as an offset okay now i have this information let me use my project lombok all arcs constructor no arcs constructor and setter and the getter okay so that i can generate all this information right so each one has its own you know uh, as its own you know uh, purpose and also we can pass some string information which if in case if you want we can use you know let's say like uh, you know uh, info sort of thing case if you want we can store that information here okay so uh, this is our model here now we need to have the job details and the trigger details right so let me create a another package let's say like common utils where these details we are going to uh, build okay so here let's create a class uh, called uh, common utils class and uh, here we can make it as a service as a bin we can take it or we can take it as a uh, normal reusable method with a final static final also we can take it okay for simplicity i'm taking this as a service here okay so now my target is to build the job details right so uh, job like get job detail okay this is my method let me keep it as public as of now okay so 
this job detail is going to be independent of job job is nothing but uh, this right this is one job and it can be it can have multiple jobs i am using as a common utils so what i need to do is i need to pass a let's say like a a parameter called class so that i can apply it to all the all the jobs okay and i need a trigger info which we are keeping let me keep it as uh info here simply okay then here job details we are building right how we can build job details simply job builder dot here you can see here there is a lot of methods new job right this is but we need to pass some parameters with identity identity means how you want this job to be identified okay so simply you can pass class name and some group name also you can pass this is a optional but it would be good if you pass it okay so class name dot here simple get simple name okay this is my identity and whatever the data i have i need to build here right so uh, this data i have it right? so with uh, else there is something called data uh, set job data you could see this one right set job data it is expecting job data map okay so let me create a job data map object here uh, like job data is equal to new job data map here in my job data map it is nothing but a map right so i can put this with a name called class name dot get simple name and whatever the information i am getting from the trigger info i can put that here and simply i'll pass that here job data and uh, here else we have some description we can pass it but that's okay okay so this is nothing but my job details okay cool now similarly 